Hey guys, it's Marvin from Wiscoat. So I know a lot of you have been talking about what we were gonna do, if we were gonna do anything in the winter. This opportunity came by, this was a blank slate. So um, our local fire department had just built this whole bay and these lines help with guiding the fire trucks to back up. Now on this other side, they had had some lines before, right here that you can see, and they'd use them quite often and it helped keep everything straight and keep them backed in so they didn't back into anything and the trucks were easy to get around. So we just remapped this one out, um, gridded it out, measured it, squared it up, used the hand striper, which I, I'm in need of an upgrade, you guys know that. But it still does the job and does the job for what we need it to do as long as you have a steady hand and it sprays out, you know what you're doing and you've used it before. So there's still stuff going on in the winter just depends on what certain opportunities come in. It's cold out, it's wet out, and rainy out, so inside line work would be great if we had more to do. Hey guys, it's Marvin from Westcote at our local Lone Rock fire station. I striped these lines last week sometime and uh, the fire department liked how everything looked. I said, hey, can you do the next set? I'm going to take you over here and kind of show you what we did today. The trucks are running, so it might be a little bit loud. But we redid all these ones, which was pretty sweet. They had some lines laid down, so it didn't take me too long to chalk them like it did on the other one. But also, we went over here into the long bays and did those ones as well. So we just used the hand striper. We're looking to get the walk behind, as you guys know. That's one of my goals for this year. Um, it's a little bit of overkill for where we're at, but I know it lays down better lines, more solid lines. But I think we've done pretty good with our hand striper. So, you know, I think I'm the best of the best, at least when it comes to the hand striper and just making sure we get enough layers of paint on there so that everything looks real sharp and real crisp, like that one there. Talk to you guys later. Keep watching the videos. Thanks.